Okay, so sometimes when we come in from outside, um, especially after it's rained, we have a little bit of a pro problem. <laughs> he thinks I'm putting his full body in here, that's how he's reacting. What I, Charlie is really allergic to a number of um, things outside, just allergens and that sort of thing. Um, so a lot of you are like, why do you let him outside? But it, I experimented with it and it doesn't matter if he goes outside or not, he reacts to them. So what I do is I fill my sink just with like that much water and I put, he's the worst about it, Trig, Trig's pretty good about it. I just put him in there like this, I dab his, or dip his paws a couple times and then I do his back paws and then we turn around, <laughs> he knows the drill. And I have a couple of um, towels here, and then I take each paw and individually wipe it off. And what it does is it just saves him from having to uh, lick it off, and it also saves him, saves me, me from having dirty paw prints all over the house and all over my furniture. Um, and he, <laughs> he's usually more tolerant than he was today of it. And that's Trig's turn. Trig spends more time in the mud than Charlie does, and um, he's... <coughs> okay, you can go up now, thank you. <laughs> okay, you ready? Let's go. Um, it's pretty rare that Trig makes any noise when we're doing that. <coughs> Got like cat hair in my throat. Um, And I just, again, wipe off all his paws. He's pretty good about it. Uh, except for right now when we're doing a video because why, why would that work out perfectly? Oh no! Okay, and then after they're done and the paws are clean, then that's when we have um, <coughs> treats. So I do it when, when the paws are muddy and also when there's a lot of pollen in the air because of Charlie's allergies. Um, I want to make sure that I can get off as much as I can from him. <laughs> and then I, I take him down and we get cheats. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.